was on a summer evening we put our boat to say no danger did approach them till early the next day returning home as usual in love and unity the cruel perseverance she proved our destiny the perseverance was a wreck as you may understand she launched us in eternity all by the lord's command when our boat she struck the wreck of course her sails did jibe young walsh and peter redmond jumped to the weather side when our boat it struck the sunken wreck the wild waves did pour in as from a well or waste gate from her stern unto her stem the captain cried i fear me boys pale death is close at hand we'll sail her in close by the wind in hopes to gain the land these words were scarcely spoken when our yarnsman he did cry i see a boat to wind word he'll be here by and by the captain cried strip off your clothes she has a son her lee young welsh cried out i cannot swim what will become of me a few more words were spoken when our boat received a say that sent her to the bottom without any more delay tis a poor thing to be drowning now think on those poor men contending hard with wind and tide stripped naked to their skin they had no consolation but from the god on high but to their joy and great surprise a boat soon passed them by they cried out we are drowning as well as they could speak but the sea ran deep and heavy and over them did break fitzsimons cried Hold hard, me boys, I'll bring you safe to shore. He picked up some on boys and nets and one upon an oar. Long life to James Fitzsimons and to his worthy crew. He needed not an order, 
he well knew what to do. He soon picked up four live men, and then a body dead, and two of them he left behind, so tears for them were shed. When our boat she reached the shore with the sad and fatal news, it grieved the hearts of rich and poor and set them all confused. To think of these three darling men, the pride of Paldup Strand, that were launched into eternity, all by the Lord's command. Of their names I must make mention, I will not pass them by. John and Briny Lacy, the same I won't deny. There was Moses and James Whitty and Kinsella likewise, young Welsh and Peter Redmond, two darling fine young boys. There's one more thing that grieves me sore and causes me to weep. Tis for young Peter Redmond that's lying in the deep. There he's a prey for Neptune, where the foaming billows roar. Tis sad for his aged parents, they will see him no more. We'll search the briny waters, we'll search them night and day, until his body will arise and float upon the same. The clergy from the altar desired of us to pray that the Lord their souls he may receive upon the judgment day. Young Redmond Welsh and witty the pride of Pauld of Strand that were launched into eternity all by the Lord's command.